Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from our channel Who Died Today America. In this video we will be bringing you a list of famous celebrities who have passed away in the last few days. Before we proceed, we kindly ask you to show your love and support by giving this video a like. Number 14. Joss Ackland, the esteemed English actor whose career spanned over six decades, passed away on November 19th at 95. Ackland's diverse acting career earned him a BAFTA nomination for Best Supporting Actor for White Mischief. Married to Rosemary Kirkcaldy in 1951, Ackland's life was rich with both triumph and tragedy, including the loss of their eldest son. His stage career included significant roles at the Old Vic Theater alongside legends like Maggie Smith and Judi Dench. On television, he impressed in Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy and The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, and his film roles included The Sicilian, Lethal Weapon 2, and The Hunt for Red October. Ackland's theatrical impact was profound, notably creating the role of Juan Perón in Evita, he also ventured into music, appearing in a Pet Shop Boys film and music video. His later years saw roles in The Mighty Ducks and How About You, culminating in a memorable performance as King Lear in 2013. Ackland leaves a legacy of exceptional talent and resilience, remembered for his captivating performances. Number 13. Brandy Mallory, who inspired many on extreme weight loss, passed away on November 9th in Stone Mountain, Georgia, at the age of 40. The Fulton County Medical Examiner's Office confirmed her passing. Best known for her appearance on the 2014 season of Extreme Weight Loss, Mallory started her weight loss journey following a personal tragedy. At her heaviest, she weighed about 329 pounds and notably completed a half Ironman challenge during the show. A professional makeup artist, Mallory continued to share her passion for fitness and dance, inspiring followers on Instagram with her commitment to health and body positivity. Her life and positive influence were remembered at a candlelight vigil on November 12th. Fellow contestant Kim Williams Maxeel paid tribute to Mallory, highlighting her zest for life and her significant impact in promoting body positivity and health awareness. Number 12. Johnny Ruffo, the beloved Australian singer and actor, died at 35 after battling terminal brain cancer. His death on November 10th, 2023, was announced with a heartfelt statement on his Instagram, surrounded by his partner Tani and family. Rufo, who hailed from Perth, Western Australia, rose to fame on The X Factor Australia in 2011, finishing third. His music career flourished with memorable collaborations and supporting acts like One Direction. He also won Dancing with the Stars in 2012. Transitioning to acting, he joined Home and Away in 2013, earning a Logie Award nomination for Most Popular New Talent. Throughout his illness, Ruffo remained a beacon of hope, releasing the song Broken Glass and his memoir, No Finish Line. Ruffo's resilience and openness about his cancer battle inspired many. His legacy extends beyond entertainment, embodying courage and a commitment to raising cancer awareness. Number 11. Richard Maul the towering six-foot-eight actor famous for playing the gentle bailiff Bull Shannon on NBC's Night Court, passed away at 80 on October 27, 2023, in Big Bear Lake, Calif. Although his death was confirmed by a family spokesman, his legacy spans over four decades in the entertainment industry. Born on January 13, 1943, in Pasadena, California, Maul chose acting over a legal career, much to his father's chagrin. He initially acted in Shakespeare plays and secured early roles in the film Brigham and the TV series Welcome Back, Cotter. His big break came with Night Court, where he endeared audiences from 1984 to 1992 with his portrayal of Bull Shannon. Maul's distinctive voice led to successful voiceover roles in Batman the Animated Series and Spider-Man the Animated Series. His film work included comedies like Scary Movie 2 and horror films such as House, Richard Maul's legacy extends beyond his role in Night Court, remembered for his diverse acting skills and voice talent. He is survived by his children Chloe and Mason Maul and two stepchildren. Number 10. Peter White, known for his roles in All My Children and The Boys in the Band, passed away at 86 due to melanoma on November 1, 2023, in Los Angeles. His death was confirmed by his co-star Kathleen Noon. 
Born in New York City on October 10, 1937, White became iconic as Lincoln, Link Tyler in All My Children, playing the role for over four decades with his final appearance in 2005. He fondly reflected on his time in soaps in a 2008 soap opera digest interview, highlighting the genre's heyday. White's acting versatility was evident beyond soaps, with roles in The Colbys and Sisters. His film career included working with Katie Holmes in First Daughter and appearing in Armageddon. Additionally, he played a pivotal role in the off-Broadway production of The Boys in the Band in 1968, a play significant for its portrayal of gay characters during a time of social change. Peter White's legacy spans television, film, and theater, marking him as a distinguished actor who brought depth and authenticity to his roles. Number 9. Kevin Turen, a renowned producer of the acclaimed series Euphoria and The Idol, has passed away at 44. His father, Edward, mourned the loss, stating, This world is going to be less without him. The cause of death remains undisclosed. Born in New York City in 1979 and a Columbia University alum, Turan was a pivotal figure in the entertainment industry. He co-founded Little Lamb Productions with Euphoria creator Sam Levinson. His portfolio includes notable works like Pieces of a Woman, Pearl X, and the forthcoming Gossamer. Turan's friend and Penske Media Corporation CEO, Jay Penske, emphasized Turan's passion for his family, including his wife Evelina and sons Jack and James. The film industry recognizes his loss as a substantial one, with tributes flowing in from figures like Dallas Buyers Club, producer Cash and Elwes. Turan's commitment to storytelling and family values leaves a lasting impact, marking him as a significant and respected figure in Hollywood. Number 8. Peter Spellos, celebrated for his voice acting in Transformers and various other projects, died at 69 from pancreatic cancer on November 19th in Indianapolis, Indiana. Spellos made his mark as Skybite in Transformers, Robots in Disguise, captivating audiences over nearly 40 episodes. His acting prowess extended beyond voice work, with film appearances in Men in Black 2 and Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. On television, he appeared in ER, Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman, and as Gus in American Dreams. Spellus's voice acting range was vast, contributing to series like Digimon, Digital Monsters, Naruto, and Ghost in the Shell, standalone complex. Known for bringing animated characters to life with depth, he was a respected figure in the anime community. Announced by his friend and student Jennifer Smith, Spellos's death concludes a versatile career, earning him a special place in the hearts of fans. Peter Spellos will be remembered for his dynamic voice and the warmth he brought to each role. Number 7. Evan Ellingson, former child actor known for his roles in My Sister's Keeper and CSI Miami, passed away at the age of 35. He was found deceased in his Fontana, California, residence on November 5, 2023, as confirmed by the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department's Coroner's Division. Ellingson's notable role as Jesse in the 2009 film My Sister's Keeper placed him alongside stars like Cameron Diaz and Alec Baldwin. He also portrayed the son of David Caruso's character on CSI Miami and appeared in 24. Originally from Laverne, California, Ellingson was discovered at a skate park, leading to early acting and commercial roles. His unique charisma and talent led to parts written specifically for him, solidifying his place in the acting world. Ellingson, reflecting on his unique childhood, expressed no regrets in a 2009 interview, noting his early passion for acting. Despite stepping away from the screen over 10 years ago, his contributions to film and television, as well as his impactful performances, remain part of his enduring legacy. Number 6. Shannon Wilcox, a character actor renowned for roles in songwriter and TV's Dallas, died at age 80 on September 2nd in Los Angeles. Her talent agent, Peter Young, confirmed her passing. Wilcox's notable film appearances included Six Weeks, alongside Dudley Moore, Frankie and Johnny with Al Pacino, and as Elizabeth Shue's mother in The Karate Kid. Her filmography also features Seven, Runaway Bride, Raising Helen, The Princess Diaries, and its sequel, among others. Her television career began with a 1976 debut on Starsky and Hutch. She guest starred in popular series like Hawaii Five-0, Heart to Heart, 
and Magnum P.I. In the 1990s, Wilcox played Anita on Dallas, involving a key storyline with Larry Hagman's J.R. Ewing. Her TV credits also include Grey's Anatomy, NCIS, and ER. Wilcox was married to plastic surgeon John Williams and later to actor Alex Rocco. She is survived by her daughter, actor Kelly Williams, and son, writer-producer Sean Doyle. Shannon Wilcox's extensive career highlights her versatility and lasting impact in the entertainment world. Number 5. Taraya Ramses, a renowned stuntman in films like Avengers Endgame and Black Panther, died at 41 in a tragic car accident in Atlanta on October 31st. The accident also claimed the lives of his two daughters, Sundari and Fujibo. His mother, Akili Ramses, confirmed the heartbreaking news, which included the later death of his 10-year-old son, Kisasi. Ramses's career was marked by his stunt work in other notable films such as Avengers Infinity War and Creed III. He also contributed to the art department in projects like The Hunger Games Catching Fire and The Walking Dead. Known for his deep love for his children, martial arts, and filmmaking, Ramses had a unique sense of humor and a profound impact on his colleagues. Filmmaker Ava DuVernay remembered him as a leader and a dedicated professional. Ramses's legacy in the film industry and as a father endures, leaving a significant void in both his personal and professional circles. Number 4. Connie Van Dyke, a versatile Motown Records singer-songwriter and actress, died at 78 on November 11th at her Los Angeles home due to complications from vascular dementia. Her son, Bronson Page, confirmed her passing. Detroit-born Van Dyke began her entertainment career at 15, signing with Motown Records in 1961 as one of its first white artists. She released singles like Oh Freddy and It Hurt Me Too. Van Dyke gained prominence in the film Hell's Angel 69 and later starred in W.B.U. and the Dixie Dance Kings alongside Burt Reynolds and Framed with Joe Don Baker. Her career extended to television with appearances in Adam 12, Barbary Coast, and various game shows. After retiring in the late 1970s, Van Dyke briefly returned to acting before a stroke led to partial paralysis. Survived by her son, Van Dyke's legacy in music and film reflects her diverse talents and enduring impact in the entertainment industry. Number 3. Dex Carvey, the elder son of comedian Dana Carvey, tragically passed away at 32 from an accidental drug overdose. Dana Carvey and his wife Paula Zwegerman announced their son's death on Wednesday evening in a heartfelt Instagram post. Dex, described as immensely talented in various fields including music, art, filmmaking, and comedy, was remembered for his passionate pursuit of these arts. His parents highlighted his love for life, saying, It's not an exaggeration to say that Dex loved life. He was known for making every moment enjoyable and cherished his family, friends, and girlfriend, Kaylee. The Carvey's statement also expressed empathy for others struggling with addiction, offering thoughts and prayers. Dana Carvey, in a personal response to media coverage, shared photos of Dex on Instagram and X, emphasizing his love and pride for his son. Dex Carvey had followed in his father's footsteps into comedy, opening for Dana's 2016 Netflix special Straight White Male, and appearing in Joe Dirt 2 Beautiful Loser and The Funster. The loss of Dex is deeply felt by his family, including his brother Thomas Carvey, and the wider community that he touched with his creativity and zest for life. Number 2. Ken Squire, the iconic NASCAR broadcaster who coined the Great American Race for the Daytona 500, passed away at 88. He died in hospice care on Wednesday night in Waterbury, Vermont, as confirmed by WDV, a radio station he owned. Squire, a pioneer in sports broadcasting, started with CBS in 1973 and was instrumental in the network's historic wire-to-wire -wire coverage of the 1979 Daytona 500. This broadcast, featuring Richard Petty's victory and a notable track brawl, significantly boosted NASCAR's popularity. His narrating style, rich in detail and emotion, vividly captured the essence of NASCAR, earning him a revered place in its history. Squire's phrases like, common men doing uncommon things, brought NASCAR's thrills to life, resonating deeply with fans. Inducted into the NASCAR Hall of Fame in 2018, Squire's voice was synonymous with racing. Beyond broadcasting, he was a founding owner of Thunder Road Speed Bowl and contributed to Vermont's cultural landscape. 
Ken Squire's legacy in sports broadcasting and his impact on NASCAR's growth are unparalleled. Number 1. Suzanne Shepard, renowned for her roles in Goodfellas and The Sopranos, passed away at the age of 89. Her family confirmed her death, leaving behind a legacy as a versatile actress beloved in both film and television. Shepard was celebrated for her portrayal of Karen Hill's mother in Martin Scorsese's Goodfellas and as Mary DeAngelis, Carmela Soprano's mother in The Sopranos. Her performances earned her the reputation as the go-to mother actress, with tributes pouring in from fans and colleagues, including Sopranos star Ray Abruzzo. Her acting career spanned over three decades, beginning with her role as Aunt Tweedy in 1988's Mystic Pizza. Shepard's filmography also included notable appearances in Requiem for a Dream, Uncle Buck, and Lolita. On television, she featured in shows like Law and Amp Order and Blue Bloods, with her final appearance in 2023's The Performance. Beyond acting, Shepard was an accomplished director and acting coach, operating her studio in New York. An upcoming documentary, A Gift of Fire, will explore her influential teaching career. A student of Sanford Meisner, Shepard was a pioneer in acting education and a founding member of the Compass Players, alongside Alan Alda and Alan Arkin. You continue watching these videos about recent celebrity deaths in June on your screen. To keep yourself updated, you can turn on notifications.